So we're gonna head up to the barn that we have not used yet. It has a lot of fencing and different things stored up in there. We're gonna start cleaning it out because we've got a animal coming to our farm and we need a space for it. And so we're going to clean that out and see what we could do to make some space. Let's go, Bob! Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds. We're up here by our barn that we have not really accessed yet. There's a bunch of stuff in here, old baler, fencing, posting, boards. Um, we store our little paddle boat up here in the winter and there's some interesting stuff back here that we're going to explore and pull out and try to make some space for our new animals. Because coming. without you by my side, I would be stuck here on the ground. That's some hay for you. Do you use that for something? For our horses? For our horses? We got horses? Uh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Is that what you think we're getting? Yeah. Because I want to get horses. Do you? Yes. We did far. Riding up the way, I can see the road ahead of me. I won't be stumbling in the dark. Your eyes are shining like the stars. All right, we've got this old baler here in the barn, and we didn't know how to pull it out, but luckily, uh, Becky's brother's got a truck here, so we're gonna try to pull it out and see if this works. Ooh. Ooh. Hang on. Initially, we pulled the baler too far, so we had to cut a hole in the back of the barn so we could pull it out. Oh, how awesome! And that gave us enough room to pull the baler straight out so we could free up a stall for an animal that we'll have in the barn. I'm out here digging some holes for some posts so we're working on putting our fence in. Here at our animal barn, right over here, we're looking to get a cow this next week. Give you a little hint in the last video. We've got a family milk cow that we're looking to pick up and we need to have it fenced in here. We're gonna get things secured in there so we can have everything ready by the end of this week to get our cow. I'm using this tool right here. Normally I use a post hole digger and we found this around the farm and I had no idea what it was or how it worked and I saw it in somebody else's video for digging a really deep hole for a post and thought we'd use it and this has been a lifesaver. Lucky that this was just sitting around this farm after we bought it. So we're using these wood posts for our corner posts. We found them at the barn and we were lucky enough to find enough to put some others in for end posts and then even for brace posts to be able to tie these two posts together. Then we nailed in the brace post, put in the other side of the corner post, the end post, braced it together, and then we ultimately used some wire and a wire tensioner to be able to fully support the corner post and be able to pull the poly wire from corner to corner. All right, so we're gonna have a farm gate out here that we can come in and out of be able to drive, ATV, other things through whenever we need to get into the animals right now. Now we need to tighten up this corner post. We've got some wire, we've got some cranks. So we're gonna make it so it can support weight from any direction, especially for our gate over here. All right, we're ready to show off our first farm gate. We just got the gate that we're always gonna come through to come over to the barn here. It's a tire, taller hill over there, so it stops that way. You can only squeeze through it. 
I guess if you're just wanting to walk there. So we were debating about how we wanted to run the electrical wire, is that right? Yeah. So we found this stuff and this actually will hook onto your post. We'll be able to connect it right here and then we'll bury it under the ground. We debated about putting a line across, but then we thought that's going to be a pain if we want to open this up and have to deal with getting that wire out of the way. It'd be nice to be able to stop a predator from like squeezing in underneath the gate, but we can just run this underneath and then that way it never interferes when we want to come in and out of the gate. You got the measure, right? Yes. How far? Down. Hang on, hang on. Come back, come back. What number are you supposed to go to? I don't know. Okay, now we're gonna walk to number six. Number six. We're gonna put a post. Ready? Go. When it says six, stop. You're on twelve, honey. Way past. Ready? Right there. Get those. Go! It's an exciting time. We're getting ready to electrify the pasture. We have gotten all of the corner posts, the couple gates that we have in here, all completed. It's about two acres of area. And so now we're going to run some poly wire around. Some people might wonder why we're not just using wire instead of using a more expensive poly wire. Well, we think for a couple reasons. One, uh, this will be more visible to both us and the animals that are in here. And two, it'll just be, I think, simpler to run through all this equipment. April Fools. All right, Becky, I've got a question for you. What should we do on this gate? Do you want to mirror these slats, or would you rather just have a one cross beam and put some more of this fencing? I think we should probably do the slats. All right, we are T minus two days till our milk cow arrives and we gotta get gates in. We've got all the fencing in. I'm gonna go around and test it here in just a little bit. We got it done really late last night when it was dark. And so now we've gotta put some interior gates here and here, and then three exterior gates. We've got the exterior gates already made. We just gotta hang those. And we're thinking we would have the cow here in the middle area. And then we're kind of changing plans on the fly and we may make this the milk stanchion area, but we're not totally sure on that yet. We were thinking about housing another animal over here, but we're still thinking that through. Look at this little guy sleeping. He sleeps through anything. We've been hammering. It was lightning out here for a little bit. It hailed, pea-sized hail, and he's been sleeping through that whole thing. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, ready to hang the last gate? Yes. Okay. All right, I'm have the cow right in there. All right, we got our electric set up yesterday. It was too dark to test it out, but now we're getting ready to, to turn it on here. Got a solar charger out here. Looks like we just turn it over to here for the cows. All right, it's now shocking the fence. We got a little cheap fence tester here. Let's test out the strength of this, make sure it's hitting all the wires. 
9.7, good. We have four individual wires running all the way over to that gate. Then it runs through a wire underneath the gate, comes all the way back around, and then goes through a wire underneath this gate. So it's one big loop, but I wanna make sure that those wires are passing the electric under those gates. 9.6, 9.7. Okay, we're back to about zero. Here we go, hitting all four lines. Good deal, anybody wanna test it out for themselves? <laughs> so we've either gotta come through this gate here at the front or there's a gate right over there at the back of the two acres. Ready to go outside? I guess. <laughs> Went from 70 and sunburns two days ago to frozen ice on our steps. Oh, nasty. So we've got this cattle tank here that we used last summer for the emus. They just don't drink much water. We give them five gallon buckets and they barely drink any of it during the day. So this will definitely work down there a lot better than in here. All right, we've got that one moved. Now we can let the emus out. Buckets of water and our tank in the back trailer. I'm gonna haul it down to the lot now. So our thinking was they were gonna put the tank right here on this side of the barn, because this side is where the pond is, and it's down sloping from the hill. So we'll get the rainwater catchment off of the barn and fill up the tank. And we also looked into maybe getting a pump from the pond and filling up the tank that way as well. But there's no electricity out here, so we're looking in different ways that we could power that pump. So. It's going to be fun getting it off. Why? Is it going to be tough? I don't know. Okay. Do you think we can push it? Do you think we can push it off? All right, we've got our hay bale in. This will get us started with our milk cow to be able to give her something to eat. We do have grass out there, but when we have her inside the shed, we'll be able to give her some hay. Come on, boys. There you go. That'll do it. That'll do it. You'll hear fall. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, we've gotten two acres of property fenced in, ready to go for this cow to get tomorrow. We've got it gated on three different stalls. We've got two interior stalls, check this out. So we've got these gates, pretty cool. So when we do start milking our cow, we can have her in here and move her in here to, to milk her or whatever, however we end up deciding to do it. Are you excited for tomorrow? Yeah, kind of anxious. Think she'll like it here? She'll like it. Whoever works oh. out good. I think there'll be a big learning curve for us oh, yeah. having a cow. It's a huge learning curve. Oh yeah. my gosh. Not a little chicken that we are used to. It's going to be a big cow.